Yeah. Mighty Goose. So, do you like Metal Slug? Do you like Mega Man? How about Star Wing for the Super Nintendo? You remember that game? I remember. I remember. Well, it's only a tiny bit like Star Wing with the way they talk. <laughs> It's a tiny little bit like Mega Man, with the, some of the stage layout, and the fact that he has a gun arm, you know, a gun for an arm. Other than that, it's a lot like Metal Slug. It, it's exactly like Metal Slug. This is Metal Slug, but with a goose. Not just any goose, I might add. A mighty goose! So let's jump into it. You got start mission, you got armory, you got settings, and let's jump into start mission. Here it goes. As far as the controls go, you can jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. And you can get a double jump later on if you equip it. Quickly open that one, yeah. Machine gun. And now we've got a machine gun. We see our ammo at the top left. Above the ammo is your four bars of health. So, unlike Metal Slug, you don't die in one hit, you die in four hits. You also get coins. The first few times I've played a whole bunch of stages on this game, I just thought they were points, but no. You've got a shop. When you pause the game, you can go in the shop, and you can purchase the weapon power-ups, and you can purchase this vehicle. I think it's only this vehicle only. But I have finished this game. It's pretty fun. You also get special ability. I have the one which means when you don't have ammo equipped, instead of firing normal single machine gun bullets, one at a time, I fire these exploding blue balls. That's what she said. You can also float in the air when you're firing downwards. You also got the dodge roll. You can dodge left, you can dodge right. And you can dodge in the air. So it's super useful. It's basically like the Dark Souls Invincible dodge mechanic. You can dodge through damage. So that's a lifesaver. Oh, weapons! It's got them! But how about vehicles? It's got them too! He's gone quackers! Quackers! And then you get the music! Check out the armory. You've got three types of things you can equip in here. You have your energy, which is 100 maximum, so you can only equip a mixture of a couple of things. So, a few things that require a small amount of energy, or just a couple of things that require big amounts of energy. This one, you have more ammo for the special weapons. This one, your mighty mode lasts longer. This one gives you the increased move speed. There's one that gives you a double jump somewhere. There you go, there's the double jump. So they're your, the way you can mod your character. These are your special weapons. I have this one equipped. This one's also good as well. Summons Necro Gooses, and you can use it five times, and 
let's say just one of them takes two seconds one second eight second this is the only one that takes two minutes to charge once it's fully charged you can just activate mighty mode even if you don't have it charged up in the mighty bar this one's quite good as well it's like a big dragon ball beam and then you've got the companions you can have a regular duck you start with the regular duck where you get it very in the first mission or something and then you get commander of arc Nebo, who shoots an energy pistol quite frequently. This one, I also don't know how to get this one. This one shoots a rocket launcher, but not very frequently. This one attacks quite frequently up close with melee attacks. He does razor wing slashes. So you can equip those, and they make things a lot easier. You also got settings, you can do the music. You can turn auto fire on and off, you need to have it off if you have the the mod equipped that allows you to charge up a, a more powerful shot and then you got disable screen shake, disable flashing screen slow motion event on screen and you can outline the enemy projectiles but I've chose not to out outline them to make it a bit easier because I'm elite! That's around about it. I've seen some of the, the sound effects, music, the gameplay. It's basically Metal Slug gameplay. With their ghouls and my ghouls. And we've seen the companions, the bosses, and the vehicles. And now we're about to see that good old skull card. Alright, here, here it goes. Right now. Right now. Ooh, welcome to the skull card. And thanks for watching till now or skipping till now. And we got graphics and settings first up. You got your, you know, your audio options. You got a couple of game options. I think it's a graphically demanding game. It doesn't have a resolution setting, but I'm assuming it automatically detects your resolution. And we're gonna give that one a score of seventeen. And then sound and music. I really like the sound and music in this game. It's pretty much Metal Slug, but it's not completely Metal Slug. There's a bunch of background music on the stages, which don't sound like Metal Slug, but the sound effects, you, you're pretty much looking at Metal Slug sound effects, which is not a bad thing. And I think it sounds really good. And we're going to get that one a score of 18. We've got 18 points right there right now. And the story and characters, what well, the story, you play as a bounty hunter goose. What's not to love about that? And your mission is to undergo the different stages and tasks on the way to defeating the Void King. The characters who you meet along the way become your companions. They could be a bit more to them, I guess. But all in all, I think it's it's fine for the fact of how the game is a short game. So it fits into the fact that it's a short game, you know. Kind of characters with not much of a backstory you don't find out much about. With a game that's a short game. So that one's going to get... 14 out of 20. I know it's a bit low, but there really could be a bit more to the story and characters. There just really could be, but it would involve the game being longer to be able to incorporate more depth to the characters and the story. And to be honest, it's the goose that's given it even a 14. The mighty goose! <laughs> Combat and controls as good as Metal Slug, but maybe a little bit better because of how you can do the mods, which allow effect how you jump in the air and allow you to do a double jump and the fact that you get the dodge roll as well there's a few things that kind of make it a bit more advanced than metal slug combat system and control system so for that one it's going to get a whopping 18 18 whoppings right there gameplay overall i really do enjoy this game i definitely recommend playing it especially if you if you like anything like mega man or I'm trying to think of another game that's not Metal Slug. Basically, if you like any kind of sort of shooty action pew pew platformer that's like those games, or if you like Metal Slug games, then yeah, definitely give it a try. And let's give that one a score of a nice and hefty 19. Oh yeah, 19. Oh yeah, the 19 out of 20. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't ask. Or comment in the section in the comment section below. I don't get enough comments. What's wrong with me? Comments in the section below, just in the comment section. <laughs> On to the grand total. It gives us a grand total of... A goose honking 86 out of 100 points. Very worthy. 86 right now. And let's jump onto the pros and cons. 
sound effects and the music both sound really good as you would expect a metal sluggish kind of game metal sluggish love it some of them are a bit meh but most of the tracks are not meh most of them suit the game as much as you would expect a metal slug style kind of game everything looks and feels nice from the backgrounds to all of the vehicles the, the weapons and everything and the enemies and all that kind of stuff and the enemy variety as well is quite good again i'd expect it to be for a short game but that's better than having a short game that doesn't have many enemies you know we've got those kind of games so it's an innovative take in my opinion on the whole metal slug game concept and game mechanics it takes metal slug and it throws in the the, the modding of your character with the the little character mods which, which require that energy and also giving you the little extra power where you can throw bombs and stuff or you can equip it so you've got the the necro gooses one and stuff like that and then the companions as well, the companions is a, is a really cool thing to add to it. So it's a cool take on the Metal Slug concept. And onto those guns. The game is just too short. Maybe not too short, but at least relatively short. Very relatively short. By the time I was done with it, I felt like, where's the rest of the game? I thought it was going to be more than that. And I still don't know where the last two companions are. Not enough of the character mods. There's eight in total, and it would be cool if you could equip a total of two of them instead of just one but yeah it'd be nice if there's more of those energy too low and the thing i said a second ago lacks mods i meant to say lacks abilities now i'm talking about the mods with the energy 100 max energy is too low when you cannot at least increase by a little bit your energy throughout the game i feel like you should be able to increase your energy throughout the game and there be even more mods even if it's just one extra mod called increase your flipping health because just four extra bars of health so you could have up to a maximum of eight health that would be really nice for people that maybe struggle with the game it would be more appealing then so energy is too low or the cost of the things to equip costs too high of amounts of energy i think those would be the only cons that i have mainly the game's too short so hopefully mighty ghouls too maybe maybe and also I created a new stamp of approval for this one. Get ready for it. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting goosey. A mighty stamp of approval. It's got the Mighty Goose Metal Goose. The Mighty Metal Goose stamp of approval. That's what I should have called it. The Mighty Metal Goose. I'm going to change it. Oh, I can't change it. It's too late now. I'm doing the recording. Damn it. Mighty Metal Goose. I'll put it. I'll do it in edit. I'll do it in post edit. There we go. Boom. I'll change it in post edit production. Blah blah blah. There we go. Nice. Very nice. I've literally paused the recording just so I could make that. But in post, it's going to say Mighty Metal Goose. So you're not even going to see Metal Goose. You're going to see a little word of Mighty above the metal. Above the E T A L. Above Etel, you're going to see Mighty because I'm going to put it in in post edit. And there we go. Would I recommend this game? Heck yeah, I would. Or should I say Honk? Yeah. <laughs> you get it because of the goose. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's a fun game. I'd say get it on sale if you can because it's a short game. It's not going to be a game that you're dying to play loads and loads, but it is fun enough to where you don't get bored halfway through or anything like that. It's a fun game. It's just a short game. And that's all for now. See you next time. And have a honker of a day. And I mean that in a good way. And I did a rhyme. So yay! Woo!